When it comes to engines, it seems like every automaker is turning to downsizing, direct injection, and forced induction. They're doing this, of course, to meet upcoming fuel economy regulations. Ford's EcoBoost lineup certainly was not the first in this area, but it's probably the best marketed and most recognizable one in the business. From a technology standpoint, though, how's it different from the competition? Recently, we caught up with Barb Samardich, the Vice President of Global Product Programs at Ford. I asked her, what makes EcoBoost special compared to engines that have been in the market for years now? Yeah, I think what we've done at Ford is taken the technology from what I would consider a performance niche vehicle kind of a, a realm, and we brought it into the mainstream. So the, what differentiates us from some of our competitors is our ability to take downsizing, turbocharging, direct injection, apply it to what are very high volume vehicles. I mean, today, we're here today talking about putting EcoBoost engines in the, uh, the Edge, the Explorer, the F-150. So I think that's the real differentiator, and that's, that's a differentiator that our customers see, but what differentiated Ford to be able to do that? And it's really the creativity of our, of our engineering community. We've got over 125 patents related to EcoBoost. A lot of those are on the control strategy and the what we call the calibration work, how you integrate the powertrain into the vehicle for all the drivability aspects. And I think, I think it's fair to say our team is able to go where perhaps some other engineers haven't felt comfortable yet going. And I think we've been leading, uh, leading the way on that. But there's more to EcoBoost than the sum of its parts. Everyone else in the industry is moving towards forced induction and direct injection. What makes Ford setup special is the software behind the hardware. One of the interesting areas where we've had um, what I would call a technology advantage and where our engineers have definitely had some patents and uh, you know issued on is related to how you um, match up your transmission to your engine and how you um, drive the torque from the engine into the transmission and you do that whole control strategy link up. And we've done an outstanding job there of making sure that we can provide all the performance that the customer is demanding and at the same time anticipate where they're going by looking at throttle angles, et cetera. So we kind of get ahead of them, adapt to their driving style, and then we deliver the torque at the lowest possible RPM, which translates into the best fuel possible. So that kind of matching sequence is where what I, our calibrators, the folks that, that, again, do all that drivability in the vehicle have really outdone themselves. And it's really enabled us to get the maximum amount of fuel benefit out of a strategy like EcoBoost. Of course, even more efficiency gains can be had when the right kind of transmission is made into the engine. Dual clutch gearboxes are the latest fad under the hood, but Smartage says they're not all created equal. Ones with wet clutches are only about as efficient as standard step shift automatics, assuming they have the same number of gears. Dry clutch units like the one Ford uses in the Fiesta can be significantly more efficient because they don't have to pump around all kinds of fluid. Reducing exhaust emissions, aerified diesel particulate filters, high filtration, low back pressure, small package size, excellent durability, DowAerify.com.